Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. My name is Bashir Zahir. Today we have with us an Audi A5. This is on a 2017 plate and let's get into this review to tell you a little bit more about why you should perhaps buy one of these and what can you expect for approximately £24,000 on a five-year-old Audi A5. Well, firstly, this 2017 play Audi A5, this is the two litre Quattro sports bike, which is basically the TFSI petrol engine. Um, it's got the auto transmission here. And what can I say really? Right from the performance, from the two litre engine, you get 249 BHP, 273 uh, foot pounds of torque. And you're able to do the not to 60 miles per hour in a blisteringly quick speed of six seconds, which is really good for something like this. Now, in terms of MPG, if you're simply doing city driving, you're looking at about 36 miles per gallon. And if you're perhaps combining it between a motorway and city driving, one could be getting a reasonably 53 miles per gallon. I would say in the real life sort of condition when it's windy and wet, you would perhaps be looking at about 45 miles per gallon to 50 miles per gallon. Now, in terms of the history of this A5, because it is available for sale with us, this is a three owners from new Audi A5. We had this traded in um, to our dealership as we are a Porsche specialist. And now this, the current owner had it for approximately two years. It's been very well maintained, extremely well looked after. It has a full Audi main dealer service history. And the last time it went into Audi for a service was on the 22nd of July, 2022. Alongside the service, it also had a health check done. So if you are looking for something like this, we've got one in stock as it stands today and um, come and buy it with the absolute peace of mind. Let's just now get into the spec of this vehicle. As I said, we will be talking about the spec on the outside. This is finished in the gorgeous Daytona gray metallic. This is one of my favorite colors. As we specialize in Porsches, this color tends to be known as the agate gray metallic in our world when we apply it to Porsches, but obviously Audi, um, you know, states as the Daytona gray. I think it looks absolutely stunning and it is definitely one of my favorite colors. Matching, the, the, the paint work, you've got the 19 inch uh, multi V-spoke alloys, uh, which are both uh, in a diamond cut and on the interior, it's finished in this beautiful gray color. Here you find the multi-range dynamic LED headlights. They work superbly well and look extremely good um, when you've got them on, as you can see from the turn signals and, you know, when you're locking or unlocking the car, it looks superb. You, you get this really beautiful, clean finish on the front grille. Obviously, this is this being the Quattro um, S-Line edition. This has the four-wheel drive system. So you get a very sportier, aggressive looking saloon car. I mean, this is both a sports back five-door saloon car for your family, but as well as it's got a lot of sports attributes to it, including the fact you can select the kind of a driver's profile you'd like to be driving one of these in, which I will talk to you in a bit of a moment. You can drive it in economy, dynamic, individualize the mode, or drive it in sports mode. This comes in with the sports suspension from factory and the little nice touches on the outside, such as saying S-Line, I think all makes it the all better. On the back, you get this extremely spacious boot space, which is power operating personally you get a lot of space whether you've got to put a posture in there or you know your camping gear or whatever it may be now whilst we close that rear boot you've got this beautiful exhaust system on either side of the vehicle you've got a rear parking camera including rear parking sensors as well as front parking sensors let's get our cameraman through the driver's side door to show you a bit of the interior and show you what it's like. Right from the get-go, it is absolutely magnificent. What do we find here? You've got the sport seats, the Audi S-Line sport seats. You've got the S-Badge there as well, which are completely electric, including you've got a bit of lumbar support. So they're, you know, 
not requiring any manual input whatsoever other than just you know sliding the buttons and it's got the multi point electrical adjustments as soon as you walk in the, on the door sill you find the s line badge as well now the gear select lever is right here in the middle so you can drive it completely auto or by pressing by actually putting the gear selector back you can actually put that in sports mode now here what is extremely fascinating about this audi is the virtual cockpit the virtual cockpit does a phenomenal phenomenal job because you can change the various views where you've got the map um, you can actually have the miles gauge a bit smaller uh, and the rest meter so it gives you a lot of options to play around through the virtual cockpit this is what i was talking about having to select the various uh, drivers profiles you know efficiency comfort auto dynamic individualize if we actually now go into the map settings this is what you find in terms of the map telephone connectivity as well you've got dab radio and you've got your multimedia systems that you can connect your mobile phone to to listen to music or to actually uh, pick up or drop telephone calls you've got the audi sport steering wheel which is the um the flat bottom steering wheel alongside cruise control including the fact that the the pedals both the brake pedals uh, and the accelerator pedal is finished in this beautiful uh, stainless steel chrome look with 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 rubber there obviously you get the keyless system here as well so you can stop start the car without putting your key in there uh, and the front seats have got the heated capacity this car as a matter of fact has a lot of spec and some of the spec I'm not going to be remembering from the top of my head because there's a lot of cars. There, there, there are many cars that I've normally got to review. So I'd like to take that on a test drive. Before I do, let me show you the back of the vehicle. Now this is the back of it. You've obviously got the three seats, three seat belts at the back. But if it's just two people that are going to be at the back, you could actually pull this down in terms of a hand rest. So very, very handy to have. And if you're wanting to know whether the rear seats fold down, yes, they do. And it is as simple as this. So right from the get-go, we're in the car, very easy, keys right there. As already mentioned, it doesn't require us to actually put the key in the car uh, to stop. So, now we've got the electric seats button, so very handy, slide, I could slide that forward. You also got this really nice beautiful space to, uh, to actually charge your phone. Uh, you don't need to plug it in just leave it there that's if it has one of these new fancy magic charging things on the back press that button put it in drive and that and that's it it's as easy as this now us being in the standard comfort setting i've switched off my stop start this is just something that creates unnecessary wear and tear on these engines currently the car is in the comfort mode I'm going through this rugged sort of a road and it drives and feels extremely comfortable the older model Audi A5 uh, was one that I took with me to Austria for a skiing trip and um, I find these cars uh, superbly spacious extremely comfortable and at the same time cars that has absolutely phenomenal MPG and uh, it's one that I wouldn't be afraid of doing you know four or five thousand miles uh, going on a trip somewhere if required now I've already mentioned what the engine this has this has the two liter TFSI uh, engine obviously this is the all-wheel drive quattro system that you get through this beautiful transmission so the two liter engine produces 249 brake horsepower and from memory it was I think 273 foot-pound of torque so extremely torque cars these are the MPG is also exceptional you get as, as I mentioned through city driving strictly you'll get about 34 miles per gallon or 35 miles per gallon and combined motorway uh, and city you, you're looking at about 53 miles per gallon but real life driving wise you're looking at mid 40s now 
in terms of the not to 62 miles per hour this is able to do it in six seconds you're sitting in the sport seats which are extremely comfortable to sit in and really hugs you and holds you extremely well you've got the lumbar support button there as well so you can actually push the back of the backrest of the seat into your bag uh, or just do a couple of other little adjustments uh, so you know extremely handy to have that the virtual cockpit is something that is beautiful to have like right now I would you know I'm going somewhere unknown the full screen right here in the center is completely occupied by the map and, it, and then I can filter through having you know uh, as an example my my dab radio coming up there there's a bit of a loss of pressure in one of the rear right tires uh, which I'll take a look at which has just been flagged up maybe the PSI dropped because that's what you normally set it at uh, let's just continue to go through the menus any warning lights you know we had one come up on the passenger side rear left and uh, tells you the consumption tells you the uh, engine temperature so extremely handy to have everything you need in relation to your vehicle here in the center you've obviously got the buttons here as well to uh, mute the volume or to put it up or down or the voice command control or to pick up a telephone pool and obviously these buttons here as well uh, for a couple of other functions you've obviously have the cruise control which I alluded to right at the beginning of our review these cars are extremely easy to drive they've got phenomenal uh, turning circle as well let's put it in reverse you can see the rear the rear parking has uh, the rear parking has activated the parking sensors and you get a really good live diagram here and doesn't impede any of the other views because you know the whole screen in terms of the map being displayed at the moment the whole screen doesn't get taken over by the rear parking sensors being activated it just gives you a little diagram in the corner of the screen as I've just um, you know illustrated hopefully you can see it through that camera now power wise just in the comfort mode this pulls through extremely extremely well and obviously this having the sports and suspension I think gives you a very planted firm drive but not uncomfortable in any way form or shape in the comfort suspension unfortunately you get a bit of a wobble uh, and any time you hit a pothole or you go over a hump I just think it's it becomes all the more uncomfortable because the suspension is so agile whereas the firmer sport suspension you get a lovely firmer drive you don't get that headachy type of a drive in a firmer sport suspension in comparison to the comfort suspension so I think somebody's definitely opted to have the right uh, suspension in this in this case scenario now what more can I tell you about this car I mean essentially you've got all the modern day gadgets and the tech you would need in a car like this and not only does it have phenomenally beautiful styling it's got the right engine fantastic performance good pickup power it's the all-wheel drive quattro so you know phenomenal for all weather type of drivings you've got the LED front headlights the LED tail lights you know they can also be put on an auto setting here as well and you can adjust the headlight uh, you know the, the strength of the headlight as well so all in all you know if you're in the market for something like this I think uh, one would be pressed to find something better than this both service history wise and condition wise I think it's been immaculately maintained I thank you for staying to watch this video for the length that you have. All the earnings from our YouTube channels actually get donated to charity, so you're contributing towards a good cause. So thank you very much once again and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.